Hey guys, welcome to your 2025 prediction reading for Cancer. This is going to be for everything. So uh, yeah, this reading is going to be jam-packed with information, with career, money, uh, spiritual growth, personal growth and healing, and love. So apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to um, Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Um, also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So first, we're going to take a look at the overall theme on what's going on with you guys in 2025. So tell me about cancer in 2025. What is surrounding cancer? What does cancer need to know for 2025 here. So we have the solar plexus chakra. It's in the reverse, by the way. Okay, so um, typically I don't have reversals in my decks, but it came out in the reverse, so I have to read it that way. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to your solar plexus chakra, there could be some blockages in that energy field, and I feel like that needs clearing out. So, you know, Cancer, there could be um, some issues trusting your own gut feeling and even their intuition here too, okay? Um, you know, some of you guys could be struggling with your creativity at this time also. Yeah, some of you guys could be struggling with your creativity here. What else do we have here for Cancer? We also have recognition and reward here, okay? So with recognition and reward here, some of you guys could be could be could be getting recognized for the work that you that you're doing here. Okay, whether it's in your field of work, your line of work, or in your own business here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We also have rejoice and celebration here. I also feel like with the threes here, I feel like you guys are definitely making some making some big plans for yourself. Okay, I do feel like you guys are really connecting highly with your soul tribe here, with people in and around you. With rest and rejuvenate on the bottom of the deck here, some of you guys could be working and healing yourselves at this time. Or just taking time, more time out for yourself to ground here, to clear your energy fields, okay? What else do we have here for um, uh, cancer? Tell me about cancer in their career. Tell me about cancer in their career. What's going on with cancer in their career here? So Cancer, we have seek expert help, reassess and maintain, take proactive steps to prioritize one's health here. Okay, so Cancer, if you haven't gone to the doctor in a very long time, this is the time for you to do it, okay? Yeah, I mean, some of you guys could work in the field where you guys could be, you know, working in the field where you are helping others, okay? Uh, being a service to others here, all right? What else do we have for, for Cancer? I'm going to grab one more here. Let's do this one. We have speak up, advocate for others, overcome your fear, let your voice be heard, address uncomfortable topics here. It does also seem like you guys are stepping outside of what you guys normally do here. And some of you guys could be stepping into advocacy work here, okay? Perhaps you guys might do that as a full-time gig here. Some of you guys might build a community because of that, okay? And that some of you guys could be getting recognized for the wars. Uh, recognize for the work that you're doing here. So I do feel like, you know, whatever work that you're stepping into, it could be very healing for you guys where, yeah, that solar plexus chakra could move in the upright position here because of the work that you're stepping into here, uh, Cancer, okay? Tell me about Cancer in their career and their finances. <clears throat> Tell me about Cancer in their career and their finances here for Cancer. So with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Hangman, yeah, it seems like, you know, you have new ideas you're open to pursuing here, Cancer, okay? I do feel like, you know, whatever you're starting here, whatever you're beginning here, it's definitely going to bring in prosperity into your life here, Cancer, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer? Cancer, we also have the Ace of Swords here and also the World card. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here, here is that, you know, if... 
Because this suit and tie, this is a representation of something here that does a nine to five job, okay? Perhaps you, you will do that, but you're doing something on the side here where I feel like you're gonna be recognized worldwide here in a way, where I feel like you're receiving some sort of getting some sort of, you know, recognition, some sort of, you know, uh, just energy of being seen here, okay? Some of you guys could be traveling a lot for work uh, for 2025 here. Okay, yeah, I just feel like in 2025, when it comes to your work and your career, I do feel like there's a lot of new ideas that you want to pursue here, okay? Yeah, and whatever this is, I do feel like it's leading you towards your happiness and your fulfillment here, okay? What else do we have here for uh, Cancer? It's talking about Cancer and their healing, personal growth, spiritual growth here. What does Cancer need to know when it comes to their healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth for 2025? All right. We have, okay, so we have commitment, long-term goals, supportive partnership, savings. Someone has feelings for you and love, okay. I mean, there could be a very spiritual relationship that could be coming into your life. I mean, you could already be dealing with that this time and it trickles into 2025 here, okay. So there is some sort of commitment that's coming in for you, okay. A spiritual commitment uh, when it comes to love here. We also have bold, divine feminine. Celebration, prosperity, promises, potential, generosity, ritual, and fruitfulness. Seems like you guys are feeling very fulfilled during 2025 here, Cancer. Okay, this is really interesting. We also have increased sexual pleasure, fertility here. So some of you guys could be getting pregnant here, okay, during 2025. And this could be with like a very spiritual partner that you could be dealing with here. What else do we have for, for Cancer? Tell about cancer and their personal growth and their spiritual growth and their healing here for 2025, for cancer, for cancer. So cancer, we have the death card here. Seems like, you know, during 2025, you could be going through a huge spiritual transformation here, cancer. We have the strength card here. You know, I do feel like this is, you know, you birthing this new version of yourself and becoming, you know, a stronger version of yourself here, okay? So, you know, I feel like you guys are definitely building some sort of strength here, or that you guys are gonna be standing on your own two feet, all right? What else do we have here with the Four of Swords and also the Ace of Cups? Now, if you guys are not dealing with love at this point, okay, you guys could be meeting new love, and I do believe that this is a very transformative connection, and that's because this could be a very healing connection between you and your person here, okay? Yeah, I do feel like whoever is coming into your life here, I do feel like this is a very, very incredibly spiritual connection, okay? And I do feel like you and your person here will grow and evolve together here, all right? What else do we have here for Cancer? It's all about Cancer in love. It's all about Cancer in love here. Cancer in love, we have intuition, light bulb moment of realization, direct knowledge from source without without rational thought and a deep knowing understanding without evidence here. We also have denial of connection and naughty thoughts here. Very interesting. Perhaps the commitment that you could be experiencing here is also with yourself here too. Uh, with yourself in a way where you are no longer entertaining anyone who is not on the same wavelength as you. So when it comes to love, some of you guys could be dealing with someone here uh, who is only wanting like a sexual experience here with you, okay? Because you have naughty thoughts, sexual fa sexually fantasizing about you, strong need to be physically near you, undeniable sexual desire driven by instinct here. Here's the thing. Someone here could be denying this connection here. Someone could be ignoring their intuition, but someone here deep down knows that you are the one for them. What else do we have here for uh, Cancer in love? Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person could be 34 years old, 34 years old to uh, 47 years old, okay? Within that range here, all right? We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there, there, there is someone that you're meeting here that's incredibly guarded here. And whoever this is, I feel like this person is not offering a whole lot. But also, remember I was saying when it comes to spiritual growth and personal growth, could, this could be a very healing connection between you and your person here, Cancer. We also have, oh yeah, I'm going to take that. We have the Two of Cups, okay? And the Lovers here, Gemini Energy, wow. You know, if you are in, in denial of a connection that's coming into your life here, I mean, this person that's coming into your life here is going to completely change your life. Okay, I just feel like there's a complete change in your life here, just in general overall. 
because some of you guys could be changing the work that you're doing here, okay? Um, some of you guys could be changing yourselves here. Like I said, you guys could be going through some sort of transformation here. You know, if you guys, you know, have felt blocked, especially in your chakras here, more specifically, so solar plexus chakra, that could be coming unblocked, okay? What else do we have for, for cancer? What else does cancer need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to uh, their 2025. So we have the four of wands here. So there is stability and happiness here for 2025 for you. I could see why that rejoice and celebration is sitting there, Cancer. Okay, we also have... We have the star card, Aquarius Energy. It seems like in 2025, you guys are definitely meeting the one here. Well, that you guys are starting new things, such as new work here, okay? New relationship. Uh, you guys are starting off with a new clean slate for you, for yourselves here, okay? The star card, Aquarius Energy, and also the eight of wands here, wow. Sh strong divine counterpart will be coming into your life here, Cancer. Yeah. I do believe that there's a strong divine counterpart that will be coming into your life. And then just feel like you guys will be experiencing a lot of joy and a lot of happiness here with the sun card. Okay. We also have the knight of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I, 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 I do feel like also you guys could be experiencing in 2025 a very busy year here too when it comes to work. Because I see you guys doing double duty here. Yeah, I see you guys doing double duty here. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and also the Knight of Wands here. Seems like you guys are in this energy of wearing many hats. Kind of like being the jack of all trades here, okay? With the Six of Cups here and the Fool, this is you leaving the past and moving forward here and really just experiencing full potential of, you know, experiencing prosperity and abundance here. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.